All right. Quick video with my thoughts on Necropolis League and the overall changes, but I'll start with Necropolis League specifically. Uh, I could only come up with one pro, and it's that the all flame jar things are cool. I'm still trying to think of something else, but these things are pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would I would say that the the buffed monsters that are forced on you could be a pro if I had gotten anything good within the last three days, but I haven't. All it's done is make the game harder. So, <laughs> yeah, it just it just feels like the game is harder for it to drop some poopy butt corpse that isn't even that good. Uh, so feels like in SF. Now I don't really think complaining about SF is a valid point, but. This is the first league I've played SF in like over a year, and it feels like it will take 90 years to get good enough corpses in SF, so... I don't think I'd recommend SF this league. It's definitely not an SSF league. Uh... <laughs> doesn't feel... it's not strong enough for how much prep you have to do. Like, you have to get like 40 corpses or whatever. I don't know the exact ideal number you get. But you need to farm a bunch of corpses for your crafting project. And then what's likely to happen is as you're getting these corpses, right, you're probably going to run out of space. Like, I'm at 62 out of 64, and I don't think I have enough yet for a full craft because half of them are just, like, ones that just take up space, like these unique ones. I mean, maybe their uniques are just bad, I don't know, and you just shouldn't pick them up. But stuff like that, and then there's other special ones that you're gonna have to take them out and like put them in your stash or something. I don't know why it's only 64 slots. Um, yeah, it feels like your stash is gonna keep filling up before you can even do a full craft. Um, as opposed to when you can just farm like rog or something and make a sweet rog item in like way less time or harvest and just directly know what you're gonna get. Um, then, yeah, I think at the high slash medium high end, the crafting might be okay. I haven't seen enough of it yet, but I'm not, is it worth the effort? Maybe, uh, maybe you need to do stuff with the, the nodes on the tree. I don't, you I don't know. Um not putting in your own base item and getting a random base item is uh not great in my opinion like what if you get you get you you spend an hour okay in sf it'd be multiple hours farming your corpses for one singular item and then you roll it and it just gives you a terrible base type i don't i'm not a huge fan of that when it's already not super good crafting on the low slash medium end. Like I said, maybe once you get to medium to higher end, medium high, too high, like the upper echelon of medium, maybe it gets better. I, I'm not sure. Um, the UI is really bad. Ew like to remove things you have to do multiple clicks and stuff and well the stash space is very limited so and then that's another click and then you come here say you want to put something in put that in and then you're like oops i put the wrong one in well you can't actually get it back you have to destroy it <laughs> i messed up uh my first crafts that way that was not great. Hey, turn that shit off. Why is that on? No, oh, it's all over now. Now I have to turn it off because you did that because I have a reason. Keep doing it. Alright. 
Um. <laughs> so yeah, stash space here, very low. Your stash space for the the all flame jar things is also very small. Like, why is it tiny? Why is it tiny? I don't know. Expedition locker is good enough. This is not good enough. Heist is good enough. I feel like this league has just lost a bunch of QOL from previous mechanics. Like, it feels like this league was scheduled for like 2017 and it got pushed till now and none of the QOL that's been put in the game has been put in this league. Having to click each corpse in your map that you want. You cannot, uh, you can't filter the corpses, so you have to check every single one. And if one drops behind you, you have to go look at it. Um, you can't have sound drops on it. Well, I don't know why they're not items. I mean, it would, the best case scenario would be is like auto acquired like beasts. Beasts already do that. Why doesn't this do it? Why doesn't it function like beasts? <laughs> um. I mean, even I, it being an item would be better. Because right now, with it not being an item, you can't filter it. And the corpses also block items on the ground. So if it covers, like, a Chaos Orb or something, which happens surprisingly often. I've had it happen, like, ten times in maps. And you have to grab the corpse to grab the loot. And then once your locker fills up, for the corpses, you have to like stop what you're doing, go back to your locker, scroll through all of them and figure out which ones you want to delete or put in a coffin thing. That's the trail. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a QOL nightmare for this for the league mechanic in particular. Um, I think I already talked about the the monsters and them having poopy poop loot. Uh, and bad builds are punished more this league because the unavoidable league mechanic. Uh, so far I haven't actually really noticed the monsters, but I'm playing a super juicer DD league start build, so that makes sense. But if you're out playing a worse build, then well, you'll probably notice it. <laughs> Uh, on the overall changes, I'm much more positive. There's a lot of overall good QL put in the game, which is ironic considering how bad the actual league's QL is. Um, there's new Uber uniques, and they have separate boss pools now, so there's a reason to do non-Ubers. Uh, I don't know how getting Uber fragments is yet. I haven't interacted with that yet. I've been going pretty leisurely pace this league and just enjoying the journey so i don't know how that is but from what i've heard on the street anyways is that most tier 17 maps are like unplayable and brick most builds so i don't know how that's gonna go less of a problem in softcore more of a problem in hardcore i imagine there's going to be like zero uber items for sale in hardcore this league i mean in previous leagues there was like five listed at a time maximum. I can't imagine there's going to be any this league, but that's kind of a niche issue for us seven hardcore players. Uh, there's some good campaign changes. The things I put in were cool with the corrupt thing, uh, Dweller being in essence, earlier access to league mechanics if you like doing those while leveling. Personally, I don't, but it, I mean, it's a good thing for it to be there. Sexton's gone is a great change. I hate Sexton's. Uh, the new scarabs are really cool. The weightings might be a little bit, uh, a little overkill there. Like, some people have opened 25,000 scarabs. They have, like, a unveiled one where you click it and it gives you a random scarab. Some people have opened, like, 25,000 of them, and then they didn't get some of the scarabs. They did not get all the scarabs in the game. Like, some of their slots in the scarab tab were empty. Like, really really rare ones, and that's a pretty crazy waiting. However, in maps, scarabs drop a lot. I probably get like three to five a map, which is really cool. But the high-end ones might be too high-end. Again, less of a problem in softcore trade, unless it's something really crazy. 
master changes are good. I I like the new masters on the tree, and you can basically guarantee them every map early now, as opposed to before you're kind of at the mercy of the master missions and you didn't get that many. So now that that's good. Archmage is good. I, I'm a big fan of Archmage, and now it's good again. The new T-Gems are good. I'm not sure about T-17 maps and getting uber fragments, but... It's high. Thanks. <laughs> I haven't interacted with it so far. Uh, and then why in the world did DD get buffed and melee got nerfed? I don't I don't understand like this this is probably my biggest question mark oh, right here. I don't know how this happened. DD gets buffed through the meat sack specter and melee gets nerfed. I don't under I, I, I really I don't know. I've got no words for that. I don't know how this happens. Please if you're in softcore, it is your duty to start playing Dead and a dead. So they could finally nerf it. <laughs> uh, I don't think the desecrate FPS fix worked. Okay, speaking of DD, I, I don't think the fix worked. Specifically for the cock build, it's more important. Um, yeah, I don't think it worked. I did a little test, and it was still really bad without MTX. Uh, this should, I should have mentioned this earlier, because this is a really big one. There's some weird movement bug going on where your character just stops being responsive. I can showcase it here. So vendor walking is supposed to look like this. You can click the vendor and then you can click another thing at the right timing and you will move to wherever the click is. It's kind of a sweaty leveling thing. Nothing that normal people do, but I do it. It's just part of my muscle memory. But this league, sometimes you just get stuck. But this is not the only problem of movement. There, it's, this is just the symptom of the problem. This is, the, this is the best way to demonstrate it anyways. Um, sometimes it feels like you're getting stunned randomly. It's not getting stunned, but it's hard to even describe what's happening. I don't know what causes it. It feels pretty random. Sometimes your attacks just stop working. I think you, my guess is maybe it like queues up an attack if you click right here or something and it queues up the attack and then you walk there and attack or I don't know what it is, but it, I, it needs to be fixed. It's definitely going to get me killed at some point, especially if it happens in like a boss fight. It, it's really weird. This, this is probably the biggest issue of the league right now. Uh, for hardcore anyways, I guess you can ignore it if you die in softcore. For softcore, the biggest issue is probably the league mechanics dog water, but yeah, um, those are my thoughts so far. Hopefully they get a mid-patch update that fixes this stuff, but I mean, it's gonna have to be a lot of fixes. I'm not too confident on the league mechanic being great. Unless, like, the only way I see the mechanic getting really good is if they either won I'm, I just haven't figured it out yet. Maybe it's a scenario where a week into a league, someone fi finds out like a super good strap, but it's, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. There's some stuff that's not super, uh, what's the word? Straightforward, but I'm really stuck trying to think of this word now. Intuitive, yeah, that's the word, thanks. There's some stuff that's not intuitive, um, which does make it a little better once you learn that stuff, which you should check out Grimrose video if you want, you want to know. But even then, I, I don't see it being great. I'm, like, I, I haven't interacted with it much, that's my guess. But maybe something will be discovered and ends up being good. But even if it's good, like, it is so annoying to get all of the required stuff you need for the craft <laughs> that it's not going to be fun. All the other... I'm a big fan of crafting leagues. Even though I think Harvest should have never been put in the game and it's caused the community to turn to a big poop hole and 
It was way too overpowered at the time, and it was essentially just an item editor with no gameplay. The crafting was fun for it. This crafting is not fun in this this league. It just feels tedious and bad. Sentinel crafting, really fun. Um, Crucible, the lead mechanic was not fun to do, but the trees and stuff I thought were fun. Uh, nothing feels really unique with the crafting. I guess there's the haunted modifiers. I don't know if they're good. I don't know how interesting they are, but I cannot imagine that it's good enough to save the league. Yeah, people say haunted mods suck. I can't confirm, but that's what people have said. I haven't heard anything good so far. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it, I think. I'd give the... I, I don't know if I had the rate. The league itself? The league itself, I think I'd give it like a 2. This, this I think this league is worse. So far, maybe when I figure it out more, this changes. But right now, I'm basically not interacting with it because I, it's better for me to just craft at other places. Maybe this changes when I get to trade, but... Um, I think this league is less fun to me than... League of Calandra mechanic was. Now the League of Mac the League of Calandra league was definitely worse. That was one of the worst leagues of all time because the Archmage rare changes. But I'm talking specifically about the league mechanic itself. Even when it was like bad loot in Calandra, it was like it still wasn't like a huge pain to do, right? It, I mean, it wasn't good to do. Like you ignored it, but. Doing the mechanic wasn't, like, super terrible. I mean, there's some weird layout stuff happening, but I don't know. Running Calandra felt better than doing this mechanic to me. <laughs> With how bad the UI and QL and stuff is for Necropolis, I would rather the Calandra mechanic. Not, not the whole Calandra League, because that league was just a train wreck. And this league actually has good overall changes. Quandra had bad overall changes. This has good overall changes, so that the league overall wins. I think the league overall is still a good league. I think the base state of the game is really good. But the league mechanic specifically, I think, is one of the worst leagues of all time. 